Hello beans, day three. This is pretty cool actually. I woke up this morning and it was really quite heavy rain and I was like, oh, I don't know if I can face that. Knowing that I was gonna have to face it if I want to achieve my goals. But it dried up. Anyway, that's the British weather chat over. What I do in the mornings is my daily tracking, which involves taking a blood glucose measurement. So if you've been watching the channel, you'll know what's going on there. And I post my writing, my daily morning pages, which you'll also know all about. So I put that in a Notion database and in there, because I've been using it now for about three years, I can click a link I've set up that says on this day in history which shows me my journal entries from this particular day going back through the years and what's kind of depressing me a little bit is that this morning I read my entry from what is it 23rd of November last year and I could have written it today everything down to the video I'm working on, which is my Black Friday affiliate marketing video, my diet, my exercise, nothing's really changed. And is this why it's so useful to write down and track things? Because patterns start to emerge. I think it is, you know. And does that mean I'm going to change the patterns? I don't know. I would like to think so, but what's kind of getting me down is that it's now, what, over a year and a half that I've been doing my affiliate marketing. This is my third Black Friday, so it must be two years. And although I'm earning now, and I wasn't at this time last year, it's not what I expected, it's not what I hoped. And the other part of it is, it doesn't make me feel good you know, contributing to the Black Friday noise makes me feel quite yucky actually rather than doing work that lights me up I'm doing work that I'm kind of opposed to the concept of and telling myself it's okay because at the moment it's the only potential revenue generator that I've got so, I'm just putting that out there, I'm not really sure what to do with it. I know I'm going to keep going with the affiliate marketing because I do, do I believe? See my mentor, Sushi, who is doing really well with her affiliate marketing stuff. She taught me how to do it and it's working. I've got systems in place, I've got workflows down, the money is coming in. It's not even, it's not breaking even yet. I'm still paying my virtual assistant every week and I'm paying for subscriptions to things. So the result of all of that is that the income that's coming in doesn't cover the costs yet. And I was hoping Q4 this year would be the time when it might for the first time. But recession, yep. So there are two things, the recession, which, you know, can't do anything about, and there's the feeling of contributing to something to which I am opposed, marketing. I've never felt comfortable marketing, but I know it works and I know, well, I've been telling myself I just need to get over that because the family's struggling, which you might know about if you've been on my channel for any length of time. We're in financial difficulty right now. I mean we're still able to afford the mortgage and the groceries and the energy which at the moment we're spending 20 quid a day on electricity just to heat the house and keep the lights on and it's going to catch up pretty quick so what do I do? Do I keep going with all of these videos I'm making, all my writing, I mean fundamentally videos like these and the writing, as you'll know these are things I do for myself because they help they help in ways that go beyond 
potential earnings. However, having said that, I like to think that I'll reach a point where it does start to make some money. So I'm going to keep going. I don't know for how long though. I don't know for how long. Just another wee add-on, because things come to me as I walk. You might have heard me talk about self-sabotage, which I think is a thing that I'm quite guilty of. It's a thing that I do quite a lot, and I wonder whether these self-doubts towards making the marketing channel a success are just self-sabotage coming back into my life again. And that keeping the faith and believing the system is what's going to carry me through. Could, whoa! <laughs> Slippery on the hill of beans. Because although, yeah, marketing does make me feel a bit icky, that's on me. And I mean, I acknowledge that it's real, but also it is a legitimate business. People do this and I don't think that making YouTube videos reviewing products in the music niche is necessarily a bad thing. I think people do get value from it, otherwise they wouldn't click and follow through, you know what I mean? So, yeah, listening to make work work actually is, is helping me come to some conclusions. It's interesting because sometimes my head wanders as I'm listening to podcasts and then I come back with ideas and I don't know why, how to explain that, but that's kind of what happens. So, yeah, I think on the whole, it's definitely worth keeping going. I mean, I've already established that I'm going to do that anyway. It's just a case of acknowledging that this could be self-sabotage and that I need to push through, you know, but maybe with a slightly different mindset. Don't know. We'll see how we go. Cheers.